Welcome to our Beyond the Basics series titled Five Tips to Supercharge Your Social Media Strategy. Let me introduce myself. My name is Misty Amati and I'm the Director of Social Media at Hearst Bay Area. My focus is to develop customer-centric social media strategies for all of our great clients. In this video, you will learn how to align your social media and business goals, five techniques to supercharge your social media presence, and a lot of information about great organic and paid tactics available on all social platforms. Before I dive into each of our tips, I wanted to remind you that your social media strategy exists to amplify your already ongoing marketing and business objectives. An impactful social media strategy includes paid and organic social media tactics that help your customers flow seamlessly from one part of the journey to the next. By defining your strategy, content tactics, and KPIs before you invest in your social presence, you are setting yourself up for success. So let's take advantage of the tools and timing tricks available to businesses on social media right now. Our first tip, you must spruce up your content. To kick this off, I want you to take a moment to think about your own social media content creation. Are you really think creating content with your fans in mind? Or are you thinking about the content that you'd like to see? Hmm. If you're not creating content with your customers in mind, you really need to revisit your content creation strategy. While it's easy to make content that you'd like to see, it's important to be honest with yourself and your team to bring your inbound marketing mentality to your social media content. People want to learn about you and your brand. That's not unusual, but you need to give them a reason to stay. We have also seen many algorithm changes on these social platforms and we know it can feel frustrating to create organic content right now. But we have found that by playing to the strengths and priorities of each platform, you have the best chance of giving your content new life. Our first suggestion for you to spruce up your content is to leverage Instagram stories if you aren't already. While your own personal feeds may be filled with friends sharing these time-bound snippets of their lives, Instagram has told us that only 36% of businesses are using stories, and I'd wager that there's an even smaller amount of them using them effectively. Our tip for Instagram stories? Approach them with a storytelling mentality. It's okay to push product, but show. Don't just tell. Show the product in action, in production, and out in the wild. Engage your audience by asking for their opinion on color options or have them vote between free shipping or a discount code for your anniversary sale. Organic social media is a great testing ground before launching any paid media campaigns and Instagram stories often some pretty instant user feedback. Right now, people can't stop talking about Instagram Reels and TikTok. Are they similar? Yes, they are. Both have their own benefits and their own pitfalls. Both are great ways to showcase creative storytelling and to reach a younger demographic. We love Instagram Reels for brands who are newer to this short video format because you can leverage your already existing and established Instagram audience when posting stories and posting Reels. And Instagram Reels is prioritizing organic content on Reels right now because it's so new. We recommend TikTok for brands that are focused on brand awareness phases, consistent posting and using popular music and hashtags within the first 48 hours of them taking off are the best ways to trend on this platform. With 97% of pins currently unbranded on Pinterest, Pinterest is the platform to be on for brand discovery. With new video and shopping functions, it's a great way to reach high income earners with plenty of shopping intention. We have people you have people who are interested in solving a problem, and the fact that they're not brand specific is your advantage. Wow them with unique and original content to get them to discover your brand while they're in their discovery phase, and write keyword rich copy and have eye catching imagery so that they want to learn more about you. Now, video is still king on many of these social platforms, so you want to invest time in creating video content. But don't fret, we always say work smarter, not harder. A singular investment in making a video, which can even be done on your iPhone and edited in a tool like Canva, 
should be repurposed across multiple channels, be it in a longer form, a shorter form, or used for promotions. Before recording any videos, first map out all the ways you want to use the content so that you make sure that you're capturing the right moments when you're actually filming. I love making content maps similar to the one on the right of this chart to plan out all of the ways I plan to use each piece of content, so I always have a reference of my content plans. I recommend you do the same. Now let's shift gears to give your paid ads a mini makeover. With new developments and ads that help them feel more organic, paid social is a great way to move people down your marketing funnel. Dynamic ads on Facebook and Instagram are effective paid solutions for having people discover and buy your products. One of the most common ad use cases is targeting people who have already viewed a product or a page on your website, or have maybe even added a product to their cart, but they've not yet made a purchase. These kinds of retargeting ads tend to have an incredible ROI versus trying to attract only a new audience because you're talking to people who've already displayed interest in your products. They just may need that final push to make that purchase. And so you know, these type of ads aren't just for e-commerce, but they can be used for many other industries as well. No matter the vertical, there are plenty of customization options to ensure that your potential customers are seeing the type of ads that are gonna make them convert. Now let's discuss tip number two, nurturing engagement. Now that you've revamped your content to be more engaging for your customers, you'll wanna make sure you've set up your tracking correctly so that you can see what converts, what doesn't, and be able to pivot any strategies. First, we'll cover pixels or tags, which they're the same thing, but different names depending on the platform you're using. These pieces of code are oftentimes directly implemented on your website and allow you to track and see what actions people are taking. Pixels are a critical aspect for any successful paid ad campaign. They let you capture information about your audience, including what they click on, what they added to cart, and what they ultimately bought. And a pixel goes beyond retargeting by also giving you data that you can leverage to build lookalike audiences and to find customers who are similar to your best ones. Now, I know, setting up a pixel can look complicated since it's code, but it's actually not that bad. And there's even hosting platforms like Shopify that have easy integration options as well. So don't fret. Setting up your pixel goes hand in hand with understanding and setting up attribution models. Remember how I mentioned the importance of making sure you establish your social media strategy and aligning it with your KPIs and business goals? Attribution models can help you showcase the success of your social campaigns. Attribution means tracking how people interact with your website or profile before they convert or make a purchase. The three most popular types of attribution models include last touch, first touch, and multi-touch. Each track what people interacted with before converting. Now, depending on where you are in your marketing journey and your budget, as well as other data limitations out there, there are many different types of attribution models and tools that you can use. Our first attribution recommendation is to leverage UTMs. These are extra parameters at the end of your URLs that don't impact the user experience, but can help you collect data on where your visitors are coming from. They are free to set up and are very important for tracking within Google Analytics. They're awesome and usable in everything, email, social media, other media tactics, and for fun trivia, UTM stands for Urchin Tracking Module. Who knew? Another easy tool to leverage if you're already using email or hosting events is to throw in a survey link. You can just directly ask people where they found out about you. Our third tool here is called Bitly, and this is a great tool for shortening URLs, especially after you add those UTM parameters. You can also pay to have your Bitly shortened links branded, and Bitly often provides same-day analytics, which is great for any urgent campaigns you may run. Now, if you're interested in multi-touch models, you can look at native tools that exist on social media platforms or third-party tools to build out these robust models. Now, I'll be clear, many brands start with those first or last touch attribution models to just feel out the process, and those three other tools I mentioned before are great for that. 
A final note about attribution though. If you're leveraging social media ads in any of your attribution models, be sure to set up att uh, attribution windows that make sense for what you're tracking. And so now it's time for our third tip, create FOMO. FOMO, or fear of missing out, isn't just for millennials anymore. For better or for worse, all generations are experiencing FOMO when it comes to social media. By understanding your target customer, you can pivot your marketing efforts to tap into their different attributes and preferred social platforms to reach them with messaging that converts. All generations experience FOMO across different channels. One way to play into the FOMO concept is to create urgency with limited time promotions. Facebook in particular has some imaging editor tools that let you add image overlays to show compelling price discounts. Another way to create FOMO is to highlight your product reviews. And your product reviews don't have to live only on review sites. We love repurposing reviews and pushing them to the forefront of campaigns and content. On Facebook, reviews can feel hidden away on brand pages, so we recommend reposting them with updated graphics or photos. It's a great way to show proof of concept and to show many people are already enjoying your brand. If you're marketing a product that could fall under the lifestyle category, we also run making sure that you're doing more than just posting a photo of the product on its own. Showcase your product being used, being in a home, or someone wearing it. Putting your products in context helps people feel associated with the products, and a little psychology here, can help them feel closer to a group or persona that they're trying to emulate. Now tip number four, make it easy to buy. So you've made it, you've made your thumb stopping content, your conversion funnel is tested and ready to go, and you've uh, piqued a lot of interest in purchasing your products. So you wanna make sure it's easy for your potential customer to actually buy from you. One of the best ways to do this is to create an easy checkout environment. Don't let them get stuck in a purchasing loop. These days, every major platform has already launched or is about to launch their own native checkout solution. They want to make shopping seamless so their users can buy your products right after discovery and helping you cut down on the buyer journey time tremendously. You can leverage product inventory feeds for building your Facebook, Instagram, or Pinterest shop, but if you're a smaller operation with less than maybe 25 SKUs, then you may find it easier to work natively in the platform. First, let's talk about Facebook shops which is your own online store inside of Facebook, where you can customize your products into collections and allow people to purchase them immediately. Here you can see that Facebook has made it super easy for you to curate collections with photos, reviews, and quick checkout. Now I know that I make so many of my purchases directly on Instagram by clicking the products tagged in photos. It's a great way for brands to be salesy without being pushy. This tagging is a great feature of Instagram shopping. You're making it easy for your customers to get the information they want on your products, which is awesome, awesome if you already have a loyal fan base of followers on that platform. Pinterest has also made it easy to shop, and Pinterest has continued to improve their shopping tools, and many consumer brands are investing in product pins to help customers who've discovered their brand have an easy way of purchasing and then continuing to explore for more ideas and hopefully more purchases. Now our last tip, keep your customers coming back for more. Loyalty and advocacy may seem like too bottom of the funnel for some brands, but hey, today's customers are tomorrow's brand advocates, so it's important to try and integrate loyalty-inducing tactics to keep people around beyond the purchase. Even brands without huge influencer marketing budgets can take advantage of UGC, or user-generated content. Chances are your customers are already out there creating visuals with your products. Set up a search notification, use hashtag tracking, or another notification system to see every time you're tagged in a photo or video. Ask permission to repost and then share away. We know that customers love getting recognitions from brands, so shower them with attention and thank them for making videos and photos that you can reuse. Now, I do have to make a note about data, attribution tracking, and retargeting changes that are frequent on social platforms. Social platform data requirements keep on changing, 
so it's important for you to continue to build your own database so you're less impacted with some of these regulation changes. Using social media to drive email list registration is, as a first party data collection is a great way to stay in touch with your specific customers and to have your own data to leverage in other list building, retargeting, and lookalike audience building tactics. One more place it's important to build your email list is on platforms like Instagram Checkout and Facebook Shops because it can allow users to opt in to sign up for marketing promotional emails from you. This is just another great way to boost loyalty for your brand. So now let's recap all of our lessons. First, spruce up that content. Second, be sure to nurture engagements. Three, create FOMO with your content. Four, make it easy to buy from you. And lastly, Keep your customers coming back for more with loyalty programs. Thank you so much for watching 5 Tips to Supercharge Your Social Media Strategy.